today's keto chat is all about protein and how my thoughts and experience of protein has changed since the beginning. So at the very beginning of this keto journey, I followed very traditional macronutrients for keto. And with that, protein is considered to be best at a moderate level. So that's pretty much what I did. But since about Christmas time, I've been increasing it and having good results with that. So I just wanted to chat about it. Keep in mind, when I talk about upping protein, I'm talking about uh, meat, fish, eggs, and cheese primarily. I wanted to do this because protein is so essential. And I kind of wondered if I was getting enough. So protein is important for uh, maintaining muscle mass. I am 53 years old and with aging there actually becomes a greater necessity for protein. So maintaining muscle mass becomes more challenging in older age. So and bone density. Same with bone density. Bone strength can become an issue as you get older. So I really started questioning, you know, whether or not I was getting enough protein. Um, another thing is that I also just wanted to keep improving my hair, nails, and skin. Protein is, a, is what builds that and maintains that. And so I wanted to try upping it for that reason as well. And then there's this understanding or knowledge that as you age, wound heal healing can become more challenging. So I just want to prepare, you know, for having a wonderful, happy life as I get older. So that was another concern. Also cravings and um, just satiation, hunger. Uh, I'm discovering that actually protein does a better job at that than fat does. Fat does also, but I am experiencing um, the, the reality that protein is actually a little better in that department. And then there's mood. I'm always just wanting to work on mood and protein values can be underestimated in this realm as well. And then there's sleep. Who doesn't want to improve sleep? So getting deeper sleep, getting REM sleep, and protein is a variable in terms of sleep as well. And then lastly, I just want to mention growth and dealing with infections. This is more so for kids. I actually think children are not getting enough protein that parents should really, myself included, I've been focusing more on this with my own children. And again, noticing better results. I wish I could say I had a DEXA scan done before Christmas and I could say for the last six months, you know, with upping protein, what my scan difference is. But I will say I just feel more sturdy and muscular. Like I'm seeing more definition. I'm seeing actually more muscle mass, even though my weight is really still hovering right around the 137 range. You know, so it's staying pretty much the same. I would love to, to know if fat mass has gone down. That would be awesome. Keep in mind that when it comes to protein and actually putting protein on your plate, well, protein sources, the ones that I mentioned, have varying amounts of protein, have varying amounts of fat, and have varying amounts of water. So it is kind of a, a complicated thing to talk about and to work through. You know, when I looked it up, online there's about seven grams of protein to uh, one ounce of a sourced out protein as cooked meat so with this in mind and my weight and i kind of rounded up to 140 you know and thinking about my goal weight which was in the keto world it would top out at like 0.7 grams to one pound of body weight um, and i'm upping that to a minimum really of one to one. So keeping my grams of, of uh, protein in a one to one ratio with my pounds or my weight. So this is an increase. This is sort of what I've been striving to do. Now I haven't been tracking to do this. I haven't been using a scale to do this necessarily. I've been um, trying to do it in a more natural way. And we do have to keep in mind that beef and chicken and fish are going to have varying amounts of protein. So if I'm going to have a fish meal, for example, I'm going to have more ounces of fish than I would uh, maybe of beef. So there is that variable as well. Like I said, it is a little complicated trying to work this out. So for me and my weight, I am like trying to get about 20 ounces 
of meat per day. And again, this is an approximate amount. And I'm doing this, like I said, without weighing or tracking. So it's I've sort of been doing this thing where I have fat in the morning and then my lunch is pretty strict carnivore. I'm eating basically meat, animal-based products for my lunch. So and so that is upping my protein. And then for dinner, I'm having protein again. And this is where I will bring in more of the keto foods for, you know, the vegetables and things like that. Now, I do not struggle with vegetables. I do not have any allergies that I'm aware of to any foods. So if I had, no, seeing what I'm seeing right now with protein, if I had an autoimmune disease, that was seriously impeding my life experience, um, or if I had a lot of allergies, if I did test and I discovered that I had a ton of allergies, honestly, I would probably go strict carnivore for six weeks as a healing protocol, as an elimination diet to try to work through some of those things and then and see how that goes and then reassess at that point you know, because um, the animal-based foods are very bioavailable, they're very nutritious, and they don't set off, you know, allergies. So um, if I were in that situation, I would try that. I would love to know how you're doing with protein. Do you feel like you're getting enough? Are you questioning this as well? I'm leaving the six videos in the notes of this video. You might walk through them, you know, from top to bottom and kind of see a progression there. You'll see different things. You're going to see some variance. You're going to see some convergence. You can kind of see what's influencing me as I listen to these doctors talk about it. These are very short videos. I'm not putting any of the interviews that are typically around an hour or so. I also lastly want to mention that I do check my blood glucose and I check my ketones. And these things um, are still telling me that life is going well in my keto world. So uh, that's the one check I do do on a very regular basis. I usually do it weekly, but so far, upping my protein has not impacted that. If anything, my, these numbers seem to be getting better. They're certainly stable. So I just want to mention that as well. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love to hear about your protein story and how you are doing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.